Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This doesn't happen to be the very first video of my channel, but it's the first one that I'm actually posting. Um, so welcome and uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, so over the course of, uh, I don't know, the years, there will be many videos on a whole lot of stuff. Um, uh, everything ranging from my motorhome <laughs> to my vehicle to my dogs. I have two German Shepherds oh. uh, and two Pomeranians, one of which I'm taking care of for now for someone. There will be host of vlogs on the life of a female truck driver. I'm right now still in school, so I'm not driving just yet. But hopefully, if everything goes well, I will pass my exam that's upcoming and I will start driving. Yes, the big trucks. The bigger, the better. <laughs> I'm actually aiming to be an oversized um, within a year, but that's a dream that I hope to make a reality. There will also be a lot of vlogs and, and talks about herbs, vitamins, tinctures, exercise tips, um, decor for the motorhome and for a van that I'm going to purchase at the moment. I have a Jeep, but I'm going to sell it and I would like to purchase a van instead. And uh, in a year from now, you might even see some vlogs about trucks. Like I mean my own truck, <laughs> buying my own truck, because that's the aim. I want to buy my own truck and drive oversized loads. Um, so yeah, so welcome. Little background about myself is that I used to be a nurse for four years and uh, thereafter I um, quit and um, met a partner. Um, lived with him for a long while, 13 years to be exact. Started helping him with his business, which turned out to be our business. And uh, I was doing a whole bunch of courses um, through um, a university. I used to attend university, didn't know what I wanted to do in my life after nursing. And I, by accident, um, embarked on anthropology. So I started taking anthropology courses, uh, eventually it would lead to a four year bachelor program. It's halfway through the program when I realized that the, the love for anthropology is no longer there. And I realized that um, there must be something more to life. There must be something that I'm really passionate about out there, besides tennis, by the way, which I've been playing tennis for about nine years now. And I was training to play tournaments. I had a coach, many coaches actually, but one in particular that uh, is the best coach ever. And I was starting to get ready to play up until last year when things were on hold because everything in life changed. I quit school and decided to attend the class one driving. Um, uh, sorry, I thought I was going to fall from the leashes of my shepherds, the class one driving program. And uh, I'm in my fourth month now. And yeah, and that's what I have been doing and I've never been more excited about anything. I get goosebumps whenever I have to drive the truck. I just love it and how I found out that I love driving big vehicles is once again by chance when I bought my 45 footer class A diesel pusher with four slide outs, a tag axle and an engine that will make anybody look weak going uphill. It's a 525 ISX, not an ISM ISX engine. Um, I picked this up, I, I, I drove it from southern US all the way back to British Columbia. And uh, I literally went from driving a Range Rover to driving this overnight. So uh, yeah, and the more initially, of course, I was very nervous and I think the first couple of hundred kilometers, if you saw me, you would think I've had a shower because I was sweating from head to toe. But as 
I progressed with my driving, it became more and more comfortable. So that's how I found out about the love for driving big units. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're really at it. And um, yeah, and then, like I mentioned, uh, tennis was the love of my life. I actually wanted to play tournaments and that's it. But, you know, I'm not at a position where I would actually, maybe I would make money, but not an income <laughs> to, to sustain myself. Obviously, I wouldn't be playing pro. I would be <laughs> playing, playing like the 5-0 the open tournaments but even that you know even if you do win what they pay you like three thousand dollars which is not that much so yeah so i had to find something and um i think i have being a truck driver i think i have found one of the love of my life and uh, one of the reasons why i think it took me so long to find out that this is what i want to do it's because in my family it's all about being um an academic you know especially with my father he was the most wonderful person but he always wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor that's what all Persians fathers want for their child <laughs> and um, I told him let me start with nursing and I ended at nursing too so yes and then I continued taking school and he knew I was taking classes um, but he didn't exactly know what and I eventually wanted to do forensic anthropology because it was in the field of medicine and in all honesty I love medicine like I absolutely love it I just would never want to be a doctor and work you know in the hospital and working in a clinic is a little bit too I don't know it's just not for me if it was something different like working as a doctor helping people who need you know who need assistance with healthcare maybe that would a spark to joy <laughs> maybe going to Africa and helping but everything else kind of didn't um, so yeah so this channel will be full of a whole lot of stuff and um, I hope you subscribe so you can come along the journey with me um, this is my other dog his name is Muffy he's actually more a family friends a, a family member's dog than mine <laughs> and um, i'll actually introduce you to everybody else obi hachi that is O with the snow on his nose <laughs> hey babe <laughs> and that is hachi right there with the snow on his nose as well hachi will you say hello please bibi will you say hello Hachi is the goofiest little guy. So Hachi's over on the right, the one fighting. <laughs> this is how they play, by the way. Um, Hachi is a German, German Shepherd. He comes from Germany and as you can see, he has, well, you can't see it now, but his, um, his back is more sloped. Whereas um, Obi is an American German Shepherd and he has more of the hump. And uh, Hachi has, uh, more of the reddish color and Obi's more darker. Hachi's bulkier. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> giving you a back, a background. Hachi is bulkier, the German German Shepherd, and Obi is taller. <laughs> and uh, can you guys tell that they love the snow? <laughs> I've never been so, ex never seen them this excited. They're both uh, puppies. Hachi just turned a year in December and Obi turned a year last September. So Obi is four months older than Hachi. Um, so Obi is about a month and a, a year and a half now and Hachi is a year and a few months. Um, they're both males and they seem to get along just great so far. Knock on wood. Hachi, you're going to get stuck, babe. There, he's the one that's getting stuck, Hodge. <laughs> he always figures it out, though. Hachi, Obi, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? There you are. These are the boys of my, they're the love of my life. They're my best friends. They go everywhere with me. And yes, it would be a deal breaker if a job does not permit for them to come with me when I'm driving. Definitely a deal breaker. So that's about it guys and uh, 
so what you will see in the course of the videos that will be posted is that I will be going sometimes backwards in time and I will make notes of that because I filmed everything when I picked up my motorhome. Um, so you might see videos that are not from the present, but they're from a year and a half, two years back. So yeah, that's about it. And this is my beautiful, beautiful Gus that I love so very much. One of the slide outs is in because I want to keep some warmth. But uh, it's a Monaco, by the way, Monaco Executive 45 CAQ. And let me show you a bit of this beautiful, oh, beautiful weather. I like it. It's a uh, kind of um, nuisance for a lot of people to drive in, but I'm not going anywhere today. So I'm going to stay put. I did want to go and pick up some parcels from the States and I would have taken you guys along with me, but I decided to stay instead. It's uh it is kind of an emergency. One of them was a heater, but uh, that's okay. Can wait. And tomorrow I have a four hour driving lesson. So we're doing two pre-trips and um, driving in between. My road test is upcoming. Um, it's a 50-50 chance that I might pass. I might not pass. I'm prepared for either one. Well, obviously I want to pass, but I'm prepared if I fail as well it's just have to go back and apparently they can fail you for everything and anything and so far last two lessons I have had um, assimilatedly like being assimilated like we took the truck out with my teacher I failed because I don't know if for, for all of you truckers out there the second to last lesson that I've had so far I did a tuck test when I was parking the truck which is absolutely ridiculous. You don't do that because you're unhooking your trailer. And the last lesson, what I did is, oh yeah, I forgot to pull the pin out when I was uh, disconnecting the truck from the trailer. So that was interesting. Yeah, he said that would have been a fail. And then I did something else. I didn't do a walk around the truck before I hooked up to the trailer. I forgot to do that. I don't even know why I would forget it because I never have. It's like new things are popping up. But anyhow, guys, so, so far I have failed. And I always think that maybe I might drive fine, but uh, there might be something that will make me fail. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And I am learning on a 18 speed manual transmission thumb double clutching, which is the best part. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I'm going to go and enjoy the snow with my with my beautiful boys. And of course I'll show you guys what my motorhome looks like inside and I'll be doing decorating. I'll take you along with me while that's happening. So there's a lot of good things on this channel. So I wish for you guys to Come along and subscribe <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. A moment in my life. Bye.